Hi everyone, in today's video, I'll walk you through how you can use the portable version of Tesseract as well as Leptonica, which pre-processes images for better OCR results. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Alright, welcome back. Sometimes you may not want to install programs on your computer, or your company may not allow you to install external programs. If you want to use Tesseract without having to install it, this is the method you can follow. First, to download the required files, visit this GitHub link, which is right here. Now, once you come to this GitHub link, what you can do is go to code and then download the whole thing as a zip file. Now, you're not going to need everything in here. You're just going to need files that are contained in a particular folder that I'm going to show you now, um, which is the, the bin folder. In this bin folder, you have Tesseract. Now Tesseract, you should know by now if you watched my previous tutorial, so I won't go into this too much, but Leptonica Utility is a new uh, program, maybe a new program for you. It works as a pre-processing tool before Tesseract performs the OCR. So we can also use the GDIP library, which I'm going to cover in a future tutorial, but today we'll stick to Leptonica. Leptonica basically enlarges the source image and converts it into grayscale. In that way, the OCR result may be improved in certain circumstances. The enlargement part helps character recognition in case where your font size may be too small. The enlargement would help the OCR process by basically doing an enlargement of the small text. So it improves the chance of correctly character recognizing the small font. Now, if you have fonts of different colors, like there's a blue color here, and there's also a blue color, or if you have really bright colors like yellow or light green, then because Leptonica also converts the image into grayscale, you have a better chance of correctly character recognizing those characters in hard to detect colors. All right, just going back to our folder, I just wanted to explain to you that in the Tesseract folder, obviously there is a Tesseract executable file as well as the test data best and the fast. So these contain different types of trained data. Um, the best means the best, the difference between the best and the fast means that best sacrifices a bit of performance to produce a supposedly better results. But in my own experience, the results from the best and the fast did not show that much of a difference. So in today's tutorial, I'm just going to stick to the fast train data. Um, by default, you have the English data in the downloaded file. But if you want to download other fold, other languages, then you can visit either one of these two GitHub links. And I'm just going to visit this one because this one has the has the fast data. So once you go here, there's going to be English dot train data. That's the data that you saw just now. And if you want to download other languages, go ahead and find your own language. And I'm going to go ahead and download the Korean data and perform the Korean character recognition today as well, in case you want to perform character recognition for foreign languages as well. So let me just go back to this folder, test data, fast folder and paste the Korean fast fast Korean uh, training data into that folder. So now my folder is ready. So I'm just going to move this bin folder because I don't need the rest of the files from the downloaded files. Um, I'm just going to go to my own folder and create a new folder and move that bin file into that new folder. And what I also need is the Tesseract script, which I have right here. And this script is going to be available on my website. So go visit and and, and look for that. This script originally comes from this two, um, which is the link that I showed you in order to download the Tesseract executable and Leptonica executable. And this comes in the form of a class. So you can use this as a library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this script that you're seeing here as a new script and use this new script as a way to test demonstrate to you how you can use this. So the first thing you're going to do is to go include tesseract script dot auto hockey to include the library. And then first thing, the next thing you're going to do is to create a new instance of tesseract. And once you do that, you're able to 
say do a text tesseract dot ocr and then provide the path to the source image that you're going to um, text recognize and uh, let's say I'm just gonna take a screen capture of this and then saved it into the desktop folder as capture PNG right now let me get out of that and and so what I have to provide is the whole path desktop is the whole path to that file capture.png and then the second parameter that I'm providing is nothing because I'm going to do an English um, character recognition and then the last parameter is going to be fast this by default is fast so I can just leave that out but I'll just put that in anyways and then I'm going to display the result in a message box so if I go ahead and save this and run it I should be seeing the result of the optical character recognition of the image file that I provided. Now, if you want to be able to, uh, to perform the same for a foreign language, all you got to do is provide the second argument. And obviously, I've, I've got a foreign language file here. And I have to change the reference to the the foreign language image and if I go ahead and run this script I should get the result like that which appears to be pretty accurate I have checked this before it was pretty accurate so that's how you you can use the tesseract executable file that's basically it I'm not necessarily going to go through all the details of um, what's inside here maybe what I can show you so basically the script does a pre-processing using leptonica which I'm going to show you the result of in a bit um, and uses the command prompt to run the tesseract executable file which is basically the same as the previous tutorial that I've showed you um, and so somewhere in here here we go so cleanup cleanup is where um, leptonica uh, processes the files and the, the output files are cleaned up right so if I comment these out basically the cleanup is not going to do anything and I'll be able to see the output file which I made it to go to this path which is right here so I'm just going to change the username to my username which is juho2 so this folder is the folder where the output from leptonica is going to be saved so if I go back to um, Maybe I can change it back to the English one. Capture PNG fast. And then if I bring up the capture the file. So this is how it looks. This is the image that we're going to perform the optical character recognition on. And if I go ahead and run this script, I will see. Oh, I forgot to save the uh, changes that I have made. So I'm going to run it again. I will see in the temp file the result in text file like that like that which gets displayed in the message box and also the temp file which I can move to my desktop folder so these two files are the, pretty much the same except that this TIF file is converted into grayscale and enlarged by 3.5 times so here we go so you see all the colors are gone including the yellow circle that you see around my mouse cursor so you can really see even without having to become a computer the image on the top is so much better than the image at the bottom in terms of character recognition because it's a lot bigger and it's grayscale so it's all black and white you don't need colors in optical character recognition so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one